Project Command. Stand by for power transfer. Hello everyone and welcome to Lesson 3 of the One Zone School of Science and Faith. Today we're going to be talking about the colours of the rainbow. I'm Headmistress Boyle and this is Deputy Head Malcolm. Oh, oh, oh. Where is it? Malcolm, where are you? We can't see you at all. Oh, I was just looking for my really colourful hat and I don't know where it is. It's down in the basement and I can't see it. Why don't you turn on a light, Malcolm? Oh, I just thought the hat would be colourful enough to, like, be able to see with it in the dark. Oh yeah, I think that's it. Malcolm, you can't see colours without a light, and we can't see you. Ah, right. Okay. Well, hold on, let me just try and find um, the switch. Ah, there it is. Okay. Well, what do you think of my hat? It's going to be another lovely day here, yet again, as light from the sun reaches down to planet Earth, allowing us to see absolutely everything, how glorious that is going to be. And today, let me tell you that many, if not all of the colours, will become visible to us. And these include, but are not limited to, red and yellow and pink and green and, well, my personal favourite as well, orange. And you might be asking, well, what about the night time? Well, there will still be some light available to us, and perhaps even some colours as well. But less so, because we will have to be relying upon the moon for our light, which is a little bit of a shame, if you ask me. But now, back to you, David. But Andrew, what about the weather? How many lights do you have in your house? Why not pause the show for one moment and go and count them? Because you know, you'll have small lights and tall lights and ceiling lights and night lights and even the light in your fridge and your microwave and even the oven. And that's not to mention torches and candles, the light from your laptop, the light from your TV, your light from your phone. We've got lights everywhere. But light does so much more than that. Light actually allows us to see colours. You see, when white light hits something orange, let's look at this here orange. Orange light bounces back and we can see that. Or when white light bounces off this green ball. It's the light bouncing back that we can see. Without light, we would never know that this bumpy round fruit was orange or that this bouncing ball was green. The biggest and the best example I can think of of this is a rainbow. You know, when light shines through the rain, the water bends the light and it reveals all the colours. I think that's why a rainbow is a symbol of hope and happiness. You know, and in the Bible, it's a sign of God's promise to love us. You see, light doesn't only help us find our way in the dark. It also illuminates the beauty and the diversity of our world. The colours of the rainbow! Time is X minus 10, 9, 8. Have you ever seen a rainbow in the sky and wondered where it came from? Well, rainbows are formed when the sunlight shines through the droplets of the rain in the sky. But did you know you can make your own rainbow?
When a bubble forms, it's kind of like raindrops in the sky, because the moisture floats in the air where we can see. On some bubbles, we can see tiny rainbows where the light shines through the water and bends to show us rainbow colors. But to really see how the light bends or flaps, you need a big bubble. For this experiment, you'll need a hula hoop, or some kind of hula hoop, and a lot of bubble mixture. And your parents' permission. Can we go ahead, Mom? Let's see that again. Now you can easily see the color shining through wherever the lights burn through the bubble, making your own personal rainbow. The colors of the rainbow. Hmm. Even if we can't see colors, even if we can't see at all. Light is still so important for our health and even our lives. Here's a quick example. I bought these two plants at the same time, but one of them I put in the back of a dark cupboard for a week. I still watered it, but it didn't get any light. Let's take a look at it now. After just one week of not having any light, this plant is struggling. And humans are just the same. Without light, we couldn't see, but ultimately, we couldn't survive. So, given all that light does for us and for our planet, doesn't it seem just a little over the top when Jesus describes himself as the light of the world? He doesn't just compare himself to a torch or a lamp. Jesus says, I am the light for the whole world. Is Jesus inside the sun? No, 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 no. I never looked directly at the sun. Oops, Oops sorry. Jesus was helping us understand something about himself that he can help us find our way when we're in the dark, that he can illuminate the beauty in the world when everything seems ugly, and that with him we can grow and thrive, and that he came to do this for the whole world. That is what it means to have Jesus' light in our lives. Seven, six, five. Time for a break everyone because it's my favourite time of the day. It's snack time! Malcolm, would you please get those pants off your head? Oh yeah, forget about those. incredible day. You can see that although there are some clouds and some rain and some wind that there is still light available and because of that light I can see this beautiful beach and these lovely palm trees. It's so wonderful to be here and I can see a whole vast array of colours all around me and I'm having trouble just listing them all. There are so many to list. Indigo, grey, black, yellow, green, turquoise, and of course, I can see white light as well, because it's a combination of all of those colours. But Andrew, what about the hurricane? Well, I've never heard of that colour before, David, but I'm sure that that colour hurricane is somewhere around me. 
Just imagine that. A colour that I've never heard of. Isn't it amazing what light can do? Yeah, Linda, I think we need a new weatherman. Hello, boys and girls. Hello, welcome back. I am Professor Drew Badley, your teacher of arts and crafts. Now, it looks like we've been learning all about rainbows. And did you know, I have written a song just about that. So if you're ready, here it is. <clears throat> rainbows by Professor Drew Badley. Oh, rainbows, I love you so. Oh, rainbows, I love you so. Bronny, will you get on with the craft? Oh, oh, yes, sorry. Yes, okay, on with today's lesson. Well, as an artist, we know all about colours and we use colour wheels a, a lot. So I thought today we could make our very own big colour wheel. So your challenge is to go all around your house and find as many different things as you can of the colours of the rainbow and to lay them out in a massive big circle as a colour wheel, so you need to find lots of red things, orange things, yellow things, green things, blue things, purple things and pink things and lay them out in a big circle in that order to make your very own colour wheel and then take a photo and send it in so that we can have a look and be amazed at all your wonderful colour wheels. So let me show you what I mean. Well, here it is, my very own colour wheel. I hope you have lots of fun making yours and I can't wait to see you next time for more arts and crafts. Goodbye! Four, three, two, one, zero. Well, thank you so much, everyone. Learning about light and colour this week has been most illuminating. <laughs> Do you get it? Illuminating? Yes, Mrs Boyle. Very funny, but what's more important is that we all think about how Jesus is the light of the world and how we all need the light, especially me as I learnt today. Don't worry Malcolm, everybody makes silly mistakes sometimes. Now for this week's challenge, we want to challenge you to make the biggest bubble you possibly can. Now don't worry, you don't need a fancy kit, all you need is water, soap and sugar. If you're not sure, search it up online. And once you've made your biggest bubble, take a picture of it and send it to us at sbhc at suscotland.org.uk. And don't forget about your Zoom groups. And if you're watching for the first time, why not sign up for a Zoom group? Wonder Zone School will be open for a few more weeks. Wonder Zone dismissed! Malcolm, that was my line.
with trees and seas and gravity and wonders of all kinds. His hand he works all around us, a plain for all to see. He's one who cares, so he even counts the hairs upon my head. It's a wonderful, 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 wonderful.